everyone, I'm Adam Harrington, and right now it seems that everyone has morel mushrooms on their mind. And whenever I ask people, why do you really like morel mushrooms? What is it about them that you really enjoy? I usually get two responses, and the first one is that people really enjoy the hunt. They enjoy looking for morel mushrooms because these are some of the most elusive fungi on the planet. They're not always so easy to find, and it's always exciting to scout out new areas to see if morel mushrooms are fruiting there. The second reason is that morel mushrooms are some of the tastiest mushrooms on the planet. They taste really good, they're choice edible fungi. In my opinion, they taste much better than any mushroom you can find in the grocery store. And it tastes much, much better than most wild fungi. But a reason I often don't hear is this third reason, but it's a very important reason, and it's the basis for this video. And the third reason is that morel mushrooms are some of the most nutritious and medicinal fungi on the planet as well. We often don't hear that. Whenever we talk about morel mushrooms, we don't really talk about the nutritional or the medicinal benefits of morel mushrooms. And it's interesting, whenever you look at the traditional uses of morel mushrooms, obviously they've been eaten for centuries, if not millennia, around the world. But many cultures revered the morel mushroom as a medicinal mushroom. For example, in Nepal, traditional cultures have used morel mushrooms in the wound healing process to help treat ulcers, colitis, and also for antibacterial properties. In the Palace Valley of Pakistan, morel mushrooms have been used medicinally. And even in traditional Chinese medicine, morel mushrooms have been used as a medicinal mushroom. And whenever you look at the mycochemistry of the genus Morchella, and so in this video we're just generalizing here because morels represent a pretty large genus, Morchella, with many, many species in it. But generally speaking, morel mushrooms have a very impressive mycochemistry full of tocopherols, carotenoids, phenolic acids, which all have pharmacological properties. And when we look at the nutritional profile of members within the Morchella genus, we see that morel mushrooms are about 38% carbohydrate, 32% protein, and that's a pretty good source of protein right there, 32% protein, about 17% fiber, and about 2% lipids or fats, and the rest being ash and water. And then when we look at the mineral profile, we see that morel mushrooms are a good source of potassium, iron, zinc, copper, and manganese. And what we're going to do in this video is talk about three key areas where morel mushrooms really shine, both nutritionally and medicinally speaking. And if you're interested in looking better and feeling better and looking for a unique way to connect with your land and another reason to look for morel mushrooms, you definitely want to watch this video in its entirety. Number one, morel mushrooms are a good source of vitamin D. And this is great news because vitamin D is absolutely essential and it's essential for bone mineralization, it's essential for a healthy immune system, also it's essential for the protection against various cancers. And it's not always so easy to acquire vitamin D through diet alone. So if we can get it through mushrooms, that's fantastic. Now we can get it through sunlight exposure. Whenever the UVB radiation hits our skin, there's a compound in our skin known as 7-dehydrocholesterol. That's a precursor to cholesterol, which gets converted into vitamin D3. And that's how we can increase our vitamin D levels. We can also get it through dietary sources, especially mushrooms exposed to sunlight. Now, it's not always easy getting vitamin D through dietary sources unless you're eating a lot of fatty fish, fish livers, but also to a smaller degree, milk, cheese, yogurt, livers of various animals as well. But mushrooms can be a good source of vitamin D. And research from Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry in 2011 found that morel mushrooms at 100 grams of fresh material, and definitely cook it, don't eat it raw, but 100 grams can have 206 international units or IUs of vitamin D2. So what mushrooms do is they have a compound known as ergosterol in their cell membrane that gets converted into ergocalciferol, which is vitamin D2. But research also shows that that vitamin D2 is biologically active in our body. So we can get vitamin D by ingesting mushrooms, especially the ones that were exposed to sunlight. And so I'm not really going to talk about how to increase the levels of vitamin D in your mushrooms, but briefly, I'll just mention it. You can expose either the gills or the pores to the sun for many hours, and you can increase the amount of vitamin D in that mushroom. You can do the same thing with morel mushrooms as well by exposing it to the sun. So to summarize all of that, morel mushrooms are a good source of vitamin D, especially vitamin D2, at about 206 international units of vitamin D. And just for a reference, the RDA, or the recommended dietary allowance, is about 600 to 800 international units. So 200 isn't bad. Number two, morel mushrooms have been shown to stimulate the immune system. Now again, researchers in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, this time the study was published in 2002, they found that an extracted polysaccharide known as a galactomannan had the ability to stimulate the immune system. Now maybe you're not familiar with the term galactomannan, but maybe you're familiar with some of the food sources of a galactomannan used in the food industry. For example, if you ever look at the back of processed foods and you see 
contains guar gum or locust bean gum or carob gum. These are all sources of galactomannan. and what they do is they help to stabilize foods and they also help to thicken foods as well. But they can also stimulate the immune system, especially the one isolated from the morel mushroom. In this study, what the galactomannan was shown to do was to work with both the innate immune system, which is our body's first line of defense against invaders, but also the adaptive immune system, which develops in response to specific antigens. And the galactomannan worked by enhancing macrophage activity. And the macrophages are our white blood cells or our immune system cells, They're essentially our immune system cells, and they stimulated the immune system. Now this is interesting because many times when we hear about medicinal mushrooms, we hear about the dual directional activity of medicinal mushrooms, and that they can stimulate the immune system or they can depress the immune system. But whenever we're talking about the dual directional activity, we're talking about beta-glucans doing that. Now morel mushrooms might have beta-glucans, just doesn't seem like the research is there, but at least it has that galactomannan and polysaccharide which can stimulate the immune system. So to summarize that, morel mushrooms contain a unique galactomannan, about 2% dry weight, that has been shown to stimulate the immune system. Number three, morel mushrooms provide powerful antioxidant support. Now this is an interesting point because now we're moving into the morel mushroom mycelium, that root-like network in the soil. These first two studies looked at the aerial portions of morel mushrooms, mainly the fruiting bodies. Now we're moving into the mycelium, which is a bit harder to acquire. You'd have to dig into the soil and know exactly which species you would be harvesting. Or you could culture morel mushrooms, but that might be hard as well. Perhaps you could acquire morel mushroom mycelium through some products on the market that may contain morel mushroom mycelium. But regardless, the morel mushroom mycelium provides direct antioxidant support. We're going to talk about how in two particular studies. So the first study was published in Food and Chemical Toxicology in 2008. And what researchers found was that the morel mushroom mycelium protected against toxicity caused by chemotherapy and antibiotic use. And the toxicity I'm referring to is kidney failure caused by chemotherapy and antibiotic use by enhancing the internal antioxidant defense system. So we don't always have to ingest antioxidants in blueberries and cranberries and kale just to get our antioxidants. We can ingest substances that enhance our own internal antioxidant defense system and that's what the morel mushroom mycelium seems to be able to do. So we produce antioxidants like glutathione and superoxide dismutase. These are endogenous antioxidants. And it seems that perhaps the morel mushroom mycelium might be able to enhance the internal antioxidant defense system. The second study was published in 2011 in the journal Natural Product Research. What they found was that morel mushroom mycelium provided direct antioxidant support by directly scavenging free radicals. So free radicals are potent oxidants that can be found in our bodies and they're essentially molecules with unpaired electrons. And these free radicals would be the hydroxyl radical, the superoxide radical, and also the nitric oxide radical. So in that first study, the morel mushrooms enhanced the internal antioxidant defense system. In the second study, the morel mushroom mycelium provided direct antioxidant support. So you're getting two for the price of one. So to summarize all of that, morel mushrooms are a great source of antioxidants. So there we have it. Many studies documenting the impressive nutritional and medicinal properties of the morel mushroom. And I'm not too surprised after learning all this information. I don't think you should be either because it seems that the more that we dig into the phytochemistry of plants, and the more that we dig into the mycochemistry of mushrooms, the more we are discovering all these incredible compounds that it seems like our bodies absolutely require at this exact moment. With morel mushrooms, it is no different. So the next time you go out there looking for morel mushrooms, don't just go out there because it's a lot of fun. Don't just go out there because you're looking to harvest mushrooms that taste really good. Don't just go out there because you really want to show off your haul on Instagram, see how many likes you can get. Go out there with the intention that you are harvesting incredible nutrition and medicine directly from your landscape. Thanks for watching this video, I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.